Alright guys, welcome to another episode of Trophy Hunters. We're mixing mixing things up today. We are going fishing for catfish out at a lake, probably ooh, five minutes away. We're going to try to catch some big old flathead. Hopefully they're done spawning and everything, and we'll see when we get there. Alright guys, we made it to the lake. We're about to go throw the cast net for some bluegill, hopefully some shad to cut up. You can see back behind me. This is the lake. It's not super big, probably 20 acre lake maybe. I'm not sure how big it is. But that's the lake. And we're gonna throw the cast set and try to catch some bait and I'll see you when I'm casting them out. All right guys, we got our bait. It took a little longer than I thought it would, but we got two bluegill. I'm gonna cut one up. This is the bait we're gonna be using right here. That's one bluegill cut, and then we're putting a live one on. And then the poles we're using are, we got three Berkleys. That's one, that's two, and that's three. Then we got the old snagging pole. There's just an extra pole, so I brung it. And we got the ugly stick. In my opinion, that is one of my favorite brands of fishing poles. And... They're just so durable and strong, so we're gonna uh, hook this bait on, cast them out, and I'll see you when we got a 40 pounder. Hi guys, you can kind of see where I got them casted out. I got this one casted out straight that way off of this point, or the side of the point. Then we got the second cup bait one casted out directly off this point that way, because Flathead, they really like to feed off of points right at dark but those are mostly for channel cat rods or channel cat and then I got this one with the live bait on there with the float cast it out that way with the live blue go on there hopefully the uh, big flathead are feeding on this point and everything so I'm I'll try to show you when I get the bite but I don't have a tripod with me for the camera so I'll show you the fish and everything, but I might not be able to get me reeling it in or anything because I don't have a tripod and I can't hold it and reel at the same time. So I'll try to show you the fish and everything and I'll see when we got that 50 pounder on. All right guys, we just hooked into a little channel cat. Reeled it in and hit it like he was a lot bigger than he was. Let's get him in here. There we go. You can see where I hooked him. Right where you want to, right in the corner of the mouth. Get him unhooked. Then I'll show you guys a full body picture of him. He's probably six pounds. Here he is, guys. He's not very big. You can see him. Kind of see under his chin there. Kind of scraped up. I don't know if you guys can see that. But I'd say he's probably five pounds maybe but that's the first one it's been about 30 minutes I kind of I have a bite on my live blue go hopefully that's a big flathead so we're just gonna let this one go we're not gonna eat him or anything I like to eat the bigger flathead anyway but we're gonna let him go and hopefully we'll get some more all right guys get him back in the water kind of let him revive a little bit oh he's swimming the wrong way Hold on, let's grab him. That way, buddy. Well, I'm just... And there he goes. This is that other pole I was talking about. We're getting bites on. This pole right here has the live blue girl on there, so it's gotta be at least a decent size to get hooked, but we're gonna keep on fishing for another hour or so. Right at dark, we'll probably leave, but We'll see you then, hopefully we got a big one. All right guys, I got him reeled in. We'll bring him over here. He's about the same size as the first one, maybe a little smaller. But we're gonna get him up on the bank. Just he's big enough, I can just... There he is. Yeah, I, he's smaller than the first one. That's a male. The way you can tell the males from the females is 
Males, they have a bigger head. It's wider in their body. The females, their head goes in like that. So that would just go in. But anyway, that's a male. So he, uh, I'm going to try to get that hook out there. You kind of got it down there. But I'll show you guys. The, I'll hold up the fish to the camera after I get that out. All right, guys. Here he is. You can kind of see his full body. I mean, he's not very big he's probably four pounds he's smaller than the last one you can see down in his mouth I had to cut the line because the stupid thing swallowed it I waited too long to jerk but we're gonna let this thing go nope. it's about dark and I gotta get home I gotta work in the morning but we'll let this thing go and try to catch some big flathead all right guys <clears throat> I'm gonna end this episode uh, We've caught, or I caught two channel cat, one was six and one was about four pounds. Second one swallowed the hook and everything, but I'm gonna go ahead and head home. But please uh, like and subscribe, and probably the next couple of weeks we are going to be uh, setting lines at a lake, uh, probably 30 minutes from where I live, 45 minutes ish, and hope. We've caught some giant flathead out there already this year, a lot of 30 plus pounders, and we're going to go there and try to catch some uh, really big ones and everything, and please like and subscribe this video, and we're going to have some more hunting videos coming too, well not hunting, set up cameras and everything, but please like, subscribe, and I'll see you later.